What's up guys, AD back with another Destiny Child video here on the channel and in today's video everyone we are going to be discussing the team recommendations of mine for the Ragnar Burst of our current Ragnar Break event featuring Lan Fei. But before we get started everyone make sure to leave a like on this video as well as be sure to subscribe to the channel and of course check out channel memberships down below if you're interested in further supporting the channel and a huge thank you to all of the members that have joined so far. But with all of that out of the way let's get started here with the team and unit recommendations that I do have for you all today and we'll be going through the boss info first as well as the busters buffs very quickly so let's get started with that. Now for the Knights of Drinking Lan Fei boss skills here we do have her tap skill dealing damage to three enemies highest HP inflicting brand deals number of buffs on target plus one times 80 damage over time every four seconds max of six buffs for a final multiplier of seven for 14 seconds and inflicting silence to one enemy highest HP for 14 seconds long as for the slide skill here which is playtime dealing damage to four enemies priority lowest HP drive gauge charge amount minus 25% for 14 seconds and the drive gauge minus 200 and 1500 fixed damage to all silenced enemies as for the drive skill here black lotus dealing damage to all enemies inflicting brand of course number of buffs on target plus one times 150 damage over over time for the drive skill here for every four seconds for a max of six buffs final multiplier of seven and buff drain removes one buff from the target drive gauge plus 150 for all allies for 16 seconds long as for the leader buff here debuff evasion plus 40 percent and debuff duration cut minus 60 percent and all skill defense plus 80 percent except for weak point attributes for all allies as for her battle buffs here we do have bosses skill gauge charge speed up bosses disable petrifies silence confuse stun and sleep effect and time based a debuff immunity and for the final buff here all of candidates team crits rate down and bosses defense up so there's the skill set for a land Fey, and of course this will scale as you do run through these levels so a pretty damage over time heavy kit tier 4 night of drinking land Fey, but definitely one we can counter now for the busters here let's check them out fairly quickly we do have salos here in slots one she does have all allies incoming damage over time debuff damage minus a certain percentage as for slot two we have all allies attack plus a certain percentage slot three here all allies all skill damage defense plus a certain percent as for slot four here we have all allies weak point attack final blow plus a certain percent and moving on to slot five here we have all allies skill gauge charge speed plus a certain percent which is honestly massive here for slot five being the new soul carta shaman's tan so if you did manage to to max out the new solo carta it's actually an amazing investment for the ragna burst as the buff here for all allies skill gauge charge speed plus is very amazing for this current raid so definitely one you should invest into if you haven't already and would like to go deep into the ragna burst and for the final slot here we have all allies max hp plus a flat amount so i would definitely say the slot five here is the most important of the bunch being the shaman's tan with the all allies skill gauge charge speed plus and moving on i would would say slot two is very important as well as the slots of salos as land Fey will be dealing a ton of damage over time so you'll definitely want to negate as much as possible so there are all of the busters buffs and hopefully you guys did manage to activate a decent amount here but if not don't worry too much as of course i do always say this but ragna burst is a very end game heavy mode and you'll only really be able to deal significant damage here if you are a very late game player or you do happen to have a pretty well built team Team for this specific element but anyways everyone let's move on to the team and unit recommendations i do have for you all today starting with the core here as you can see on screen we do have the light type unit core in my opinion this would have to be light type world on light samil and of course in the new light supporter in salos as you'll be relying on world on to reset your units cooldown and skills in general we also do have samil here which of course does help a ton with her aid as well as her time twist which is very very important and of course Salos here you will need her for the focus on her tap skill as land fade does have crit rate down so a crit buffer like Lupin or Pantheon won't be doing very well in this season's Aragna burst so I would definitely say this is the core of the team and then you do surround them with your attacker 
as well as an additional supporter depending on if you do need more sustainability or you would like to go for more attack and damage as maybe you do have a ton of sustain already through equipment as well as ignition now for the first team everyone will be overviewing today would definitely have to be the team consisting of Nimhain as well as Titania now we'll be using Titania in every single team but of course if you don't happen to have her definitely replace her with the attacker that you do have that is of course a light type unit so we do have here Titania Wodan, Samil, Salos, and Nimhain. Now, I would definitely say this is the most popular team for the Ragnar Burst at this time, and a fairly common one. But of course, we do have more examples that'll consist of more sustainability, as during those later levels, or maybe during the early levels, you do need more sustainability. There are plenty of options for the light type team here. But anyways, we are going to be running Samil leader skill with this team. Now, if you do happen to have the new solo card invested into, then you can definitely consider running the Salos leader skill for the Ragnar Burst as the Buster buff for the new Solo Carta does happen to increase the skill gauge charge amounts by a significant amount so you won't need the use of Samil's leader skill and can just resort to Salos's leader skill. Now if you don't happen to have the new Solo Carta max then you can definitely just stick with the Samil leader skill for the Ragnar Burst. As for the skill order I am running on this team everyone we do have of course the drive order being the Wodan into to Nimhain drive and ending off with Titania drive. Now in the later levels, let's say you guys do reach a point in where Lanfei is continuously silencing your units and ultimately cutting down your damage by a ton, you can definitely just consider running the combo of Salos and Nimhain drive to avoid silence as much as possible. So that is one way you could go with the drive skill rotation here if you are struggling a ton with silence. But for the earlier stages of the Ragnar Burst, you'll definitely want to stick to Wuldan and to Nimhain drive and end off with Titania Drive. Now, of course, you'll need to adjust if you don't happen to have Titania. You always could run Samil into Wuldan and ending off with Nimhain or ending off with Salos here. And this is, of course, considering if you don't have Titania, but for this team, you'll run Wodan, Nimhain, and Titania, like we've discussed already. And for the non-drive skill order here, we'll have Titania on slide only. Wodan, slide, tap, tap. Samil, slide. Salos, tap, slide, tap. Now, if you don't happen to have your Salos ignited at all, as the recommendation would be to start ignition, then you'll want to run your Salos on tap only because you'll want to take full advantage of disabling silence as well as applying the focus buff onto your units. But if you do happen to have her at two star ignition or full ignition, you'll want to consider running her on tap slide tap. And moving on to Nimhain here, we do have slide tap tap. Since she is at full ignition, now if you don't have Nimhain ignited to the point in where she does unlock a time-based duration on her slide skill, then you'll want to run her on slide only and remove those tap skills. But if you do have her ignited to that point, then you can run her with two tap skills here in the skill order now moving on to the next team recommendation i do have for you all everyone this is a very similar one but we did swap out Nimhain for pure smile neptune as of course if you do need more sustainability neptune is an amazing option for the ragna burst so i would definitely recommend her here in this team yet again so this is pretty much the same core but we are adding neptune and as for the drive order you'll want to switch it up since you don't happen to have Nimhain. so if you are struggling with survivability you'll probably want to go with wuldan into neptune drive and end off with titania as you'll want the lifelink from neptune's drive skill applied onto your team now let's say you don't need the use of neptune's drive skill then you can definitely consider running samil into wuldan and ending off with titania for the drive order here so pretty much just pick one that's works out best for yourself and if you do need more sustainability definitely try to drive neptune right before land fade does use her drive skill so you can apply lifelink onto your team and ultimately take the least amount of damage as possible now for the non-drive skill order here of course this is the same compared to the last team but we are running neptune on slide only so very similar to the last team but with the addition of neptune for the extra sustainability as for the next team recommendation everyone we do have a nemo on this roster so yet again the same core of the four units but with the addition of anemone at the end here now you'll definitely want to run Samil later skill as the same and of course if you did manage to invest into the new carta then run the salos leader skill now for the drive order of this team you'll probably want to run wuldan into Samil 
and end off with Titania. But of course, the other amazing option would be Wodan into Salos and end off with Titania. So you do happen to cleanse the silence with Salos's drive skill. So I'd probably stick with this one to avoid silence as much as possible throughout the Ragnar Burst. And for the non-drive skill order here, we do have the same core for the four units, but with the addition of Anemone, you'll want to run her on slide, tap, tap, so you can take advantage of her healing here on her tap skill as she does provide amazing attack buffs as well as a very amazing sustainability factor in her tap skill with the heal. As for my final team recommendation here everyone I would definitely recommend you all to test out your wood team. If you do happen to have your wood team invested into far more than your light type roster then definitely consider testing out this team here consisting of Pepita, Elysian, Citri, Grilla, and Yuna. Now if you don't happen to have Grilla you can consider running Nubi Mona or Aurora in her position but of course of course, this is the team we are going with here today and we do have the leader skill of Elysion here and for the drive order you'll want to run Elysion into Citri or Grilla here for the second drive and always end off with Yuna so depending on your team I do believe you'll want to go with Grilla here for the second drive and end off with Yuna but you can definitely test out Citri here in the second drive position and for the non-drive skill order here we do have Pepita on tap slide and now you can also run her on slide only to see what works best for yourself as for Elysian here we are running her on one slide two taps made Citri on one slide three taps and you can also consider running her on one slide two taps if you don't have her ignited to at least three stars but if you do have her ignited then run her on three tap skills I would say and for Grilla here slide only as well as Yuna here you'll run her on slide tap tap now if you do happen to have Yuna fully ignited you can run her on slide tap only so that'll pretty much do it for the team recommendations here for this season's Ragnar Burst featuring Knights of Drinking Land Fey. Hopefully this team guide was helpful to you at all and make sure to let me know how far you guys did get so far into this season's Ragnar Burst and hopefully some of you did manage to clear the first level. But before you go everyone make sure to leave a like on this video as well as be sure to subscribe to the channel and of course check out channel memberships down below if you're interested in further supporting the channel as well as the links to my Twitch accounts and where we do live stream Destiny Child Global as well as other games and of course check out my Twitter link down below as well. But with all of that being said I'll catch you all in the next Destiny Child video. As always thank you all so much for watching.